What it means to become nobody. Welcome to this guided learning meditation inspired by Dr. Joe Dispenza and his wonderful teachings on how to become present and live in the present and therefore transform your life. My wife and I are spiritual teachers and life coaches. We integrate the teachings of many spiritual teachers across the globe into our work, as well as our own teachings. In this video, most notably contains teachings from Dr. Joe Dispenza, John Jones, and Krishnamurti. This meditation is designed to help you attain deeper understanding of what it means to be truly present and how to get there more consistently in your life. It is also designed to be a very relaxing, guided learning experience, bringing you down into deep brainwave states, alpha, theta, delta, allowing you to open up your subconscious mind to this information and creating an expedited learning process while bringing you into a state of presence where your mind, body, and emotions can rejuvenate and your brain and heart can achieve that wonderful coherence. And so let's begin. If you'll find a comfortable place to sit or to lay down, getting into a comfortable position and just letting the sound of my voice helping you relax deeper and deeper into a state of deep peace, relaxation, and serenity. And if you hear any noises outside or around you, just let those remind you to relax even deeper. Joe Dispenza talks frequently about becoming nobody, nowhere, no space, no time. And it discusses how getting into that state allows us to finally become present. And that if we're in our bodies, in our identities, if we're being somebody, that we can't be fully present and that in the present moment we are able to rejuvenate and we're able to access different dimensions of our multi-dimensional self and we're able to experience deep healing on the spiritual, emotional and physical levels. In this video, we're going to talk about what it means to become nobody. And the science, or rather the spiritual science, behind becoming nobody. Becoming nobody frees us from the chains of our past. Becoming nobody means stepping outside of the memories that we have that make up who we think we are. You may have heard the quote that will go something like, we are not bodies with a soul. We are souls with physical bodies. Frequently, in our day-to-day -day lives, we tend to forget that. We don't operate with that understanding from moment to moment that we're souls. And we get stressed about day-to-day -day things, like being late to a meeting or entering traffic or a misunderstanding with a friend or partner. 
we forget that we're a soul in a physical body here to learn that these misunderstandings, that the traffic is all here to teach us love and understanding and patience. And we get caught up in the stress and the expectations associated with being late and what might happen and what other people might think. And that's normal. It's understandable. And if we're present, we can begin to release all that. Meaning we can be at peace in the present moment. Beyond anything that we might be stressed about, about the future, which is really just the past projected forward. And we can do that once we step out of who we think we are. And like Dr. Joe Dispenza says, it requires becoming someone else. It requires becoming not just someone else. It requires becoming no one at all. Because if we're becoming someone, then we're in a state of separation. And we've created, therefore, a sort of identity. And if we're operating from separation and identity, there's going to be survival. There's going to be a process of trying to make that identity survive. And therefore there will be stress. So in order to become nobody, nothing, nowhere, no time, we must let go of all identity. And that does not mean that you lose yourself. In fact, you, you find yourself in a much deeper way. You find your soul. And when you lose yourself, what you're releasing is your memories that you've identified with, that you're carrying. Memories of pain, memories of pleasure. None of these memories allow you to experience bliss in the present moment, or joy, or peace. Memories are distractions from the present moment. All joy, all peace, and all bliss exist in the present moment, and all love as well. Those experiences cannot be packaged into an image, or a memory, or a recording. You cannot experience them via a recording. They're only available in the present moment. Sometimes we might hold on to our memories, hold on to who we think we are because our identities provide us a feeling of safety and comfort. that 
said those identities and that feeling of safety and comfort also create a lot of stress and a lot of suffering. And they limit our capacity to positively change and to make the most optimal, conscious, wise and discerning choices. Being present allows us to make those choices. When we try to make choices based on who we've been, we're using the past to define our future, and therefore we're just repeating the past. That said, when we apply a fresh set of eyes, a clean canvas, a clean slate, a fresh mind, a fearless, a youthful mind, then we're able to identify an optimal solution which is not limited by our conditioning or patterns from the past. And of course, this isn't always easy because the past has its pull on us, an emotional pull. We can feel our past from moment to moment. The emotions that we feel, the stress we feel is past replaying in our minds and in our bodies. And this past keeps replaying because we hold on to the familiar. And we also believe that if we feel it, it must be true. That said, that is not the case. Just because you feel it doesn't mean it's true. We feel a great many things. These are just pains from the past coming up again. And the past creates a sort of tension, like any identity. creates tension that creates stress and anxiety from which we want relief. And so then we seek positive memories or other types of distractions to find relief from the stress and anxiety. The only relief from the stress and anxiety comes from the only true relief comes from being present, from letting go of the memories, from letting go of the past, becoming nobody, forgetting who we are, realizing we are not any of that, letting it all go, being in an empty moment, a moment of emptiness several moments of emptiness strung together. You can do it now as you listen. Stringing together several moments of emptiness. Only listening to the sound of my voice in a pool of emptiness. Every moment of emptiness that you string together, creating more emptiness in this surprising, open, deep, profound feeling of 
goodness of home. This is you in the quantum field. This is you being here now. This is your heart coming into resonance, your brain coming into resonance. This is you being present, letting go of the past of memory, of knowledge. All of that obsolete information. This is you finding that clarity that comes in the present moment. That freedom. That lightness. As you let go of all that heavy baggage that some part of you has been telling you you need to carry. And in those moments when you put that down and you let it go and you take a step away, it feels so good. So fresh. Unlike anything. Because all those things are just the past, they're just memories creations of the mind, recorded interpretations, an attempt to fit the present moment into a picture and describe it with words, an attempt to use the mind to capture the present, an impossible task to use a binary mind that thinks in ones and zeros. To create a picture of a multi-dimensional, vast, quantum experience. And yet we so often return to that binary, quote unquote, reality personal reality. We trade in the freedom of the quantum field of presence, of the present moment, of God, of the universe. We trade it in and go back to our personality. And it's become a habit. And we can learn something new by unlearning the habit. As we become nobody, no space, no time, nothing, nowhere. Our energy starts to organize around our intentions. Clarity comes upon us. We feel more energized. We feel awake. There is no background noise. There's only quiet. There's stillness. A wonderful refreshing stillness. There can be guidance. There can be vision. Intuition, understanding, insight, a great many things. healing. And it can only happen if we step out of our stress, our anxiety, our fear, our beliefs, our judgments, our expectations, 
things we think we have to do, the things we feel we haven't done, the things that we think are threats in our lives. other people and what they might think or feel. Step out of all of that, that story, that play, that illusion, that samsara. Step out of that world of separation, really a fantasy, mental fantasy. where we call our mental imaginations and beliefs, where we call those reality. And let those go so that we can see underneath, beyond them. in the plane of existence that is, in the field. And what a quality that field has.